Umar ibn al-Khattab, he said that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, anyone who makes wudu from this nation, whether male or female, whether young people that are under the age of puberty or old, does it matter? He said, if they make anyone who makes wudu and perfects his wudu, allowing the water to reach to every limb correctly and properly. And then after his wudu, immediately he says, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Subhanallah, he declares the testimony of faith, declaring that there is no Lord worthy of worship but Allah, worship but Allah and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah, except that for such a person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens up the eight doors of the paradise. Not only that, and on the day of judgment, he is told, enter whichever one of the doors you want. Allahu Akbar, what a huge reward this is. And there is another narration in uh, At-Tirmidhi in where it is added to this statement, Allahumma j'alni min al-tawwabeen wa j'alni min al-mutatahhideen. And there is no basis and essence for a person to raise his finger as he says this dua, as he says this dhikr after wudu. So let's understand why does this dhikr after wudu carry such a huge reward? We're speaking about the eight doors of the paradise opening just because you said this dhikr after al wudu. And this is, the person hasn't even prayed the fard yet. Imagine them praying the fard, what kind of reward a person earns. This dhikr is made of three parts. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. And this is the word of a tawheed declaring the oneness of Allah. And this gets rid of any shirk that is in the heart. It clears a person from any shirk that is in the heart or hidden in the heart. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. This second part, it is concerning Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this part, it clears a person from innovations. If a person was to innovate in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow other than the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he needs to leave that and make a tawbah. Because this is the essence and the reality of wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah So when you say this, it clears a person from bid'ah, from innovations. And then the last part is Allahumma j'alni min al-tawwabeen wa j'alni min al-mutatahhireen. You're asking and you're saying, Oh Allah, make me from among those who repent often. Tawwabeen. Wa j'alni min al-mutatahhireen. And make me of those who are purified from their sins. And this third part, it takes care of the sins of a person. Allahu Akbar. This is why now the doors of the paradise are open. The eight doors of the paradise, because you have been cleared from shirk, from the major wrong, from the major shirk, and the minor shirk. You have been cleared from innovations, and you have been cleared from your sins. So now there is nothing that stands between you and the paradise. So now the eight doors of the paradise are open, and on the day of judgment, such a person is told, enter from whichever of the doors you want, Allahu Akbar. Do not miss this dhikr after every wudu and the honest Reality is that Allah Azza allows people that are sincere and truthful and honest in their faith to Allah Azza to always say this dhikr after their wudu. So don't forget, remind yourself, even if it was to put something outside the bathroom that reminds you to say it after the wudu, and the more you get used to it, the more you'll be able to say it. And inshallah ta'ala, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give us the full reward of this dhikr and we ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins and to admit us in the paradise.